Good morning. I thank you guys. Happy birthday, Deidre. I thank you guys for joining me this morning for Quick Word Tuesday. As you begin to come in, if you can just take just a moment just to share the video right quick and we will get started. I want to give honor to God, our Father, for allowing us to see another morning, for allowing us to see another day that, that he did not have to do it, but I am so glad that he did. On today, I want to talk to you about about having having authority having using your keys that that you have that that sometimes that we are waiting we're waiting on somebody to um to open up the door for us we're waiting on somebody else to give us access we're waiting on somebody else to to speak a word over us and all kind of stuff and you know that there are some things that god has promised us those are some things that god has spoken over our lives but we keep going back and forth we keep going back and forth one minute we believe in the next minute we're not one minute we believe in again the next minute we're down one minute we are inspired we pushing forward and the next minute we we're backing up and we don't know if this door is for us or and we're um and God has spoken some things over us and then we'll start doubting the door that's um that's before us and we'll start asking other people um trying to trying to get their um approval on something that we know that God has already spoken to us. As I was studying on this morning, God was giving me about Matthew 16. And Matthew 16 it talks about he gave Peter the keys of the kingdom. You gotta understand that your keys mean that you have authority. When I come to my house I don't wait on somebody else to open up the door for me I, 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 I use my keys that I have and I allow my own self to come in there's some things that God has spoken over your lives and you're waiting on somebody else to give you the keys you're waiting on somebody else to free you you're waiting on somebody else to lose you and you got to understand that you possess the keys your own self that God gave us the keys he says that if my word abide in you and you are right abide in my word that you can ask of anything in my son Jesus name and it shall be given unto you. You got to understand that your position that you're in, that you don't have to wait on everything to just be given to you. There's some things that we got to get violent about. I started laying on my face on last night and I started um, doing the same thing on this morning because there are some things that's been promised to me and my family. There's some things that were spoken over my life and I know that it was from God but you got to understand that we got to get dogmatic about this thing. We got to get we got to get into a place that you say you know what? I ain't waiting on nobody else to give it to me if I got to step on your neck if I got to walk over you to get what it is that was spoken of my life I got to go get it I got to go get it because it's mine you got to understand that your position when God already said that that you're already healed you got to believe that you're already healed and you got to start walking into into your healing you don't have to claim diabetes you don't have to claim cancer you don't have to claim glaucoma you don't have to walk in that stuff you have, even though the diagnosis came from the doctor I hear what you said, but you got to understand, I know the authority and the position that I hold, and I know who God is. So you got to understand, yes, Shonda, it's already yours, and you got to start claiming that thing. Well, now that when I went to sign our papers for our house, and we went to our closing, I understood then when those people gave me the keys that this house didn't belong to nobody else. This house belonged to me and my family. So you got to understand what's yours is yours. You got to stop waiting on other people start speaking over you and, and start speaking over yourself. I started walking through this house and I said, you know what, God? I know the thing that you've spoken over our lives and we're walking in it. No longer we're taking a back. No longer and I'm sitting around waiting on somebody else to start moving me. I understand my position. I understand my authority and you got to understand you got to start operating in the dunamis power that God has spoken over you. When you start operating in dunamis power, you already know that you're operating in the greatest authority there is because the Holy Spirit is now abiding on top of you and you are allowing the, um, the word of God to start moving and shifting you and aligning you now with the word of God and the things that he has spoken over your life. You got to start moving in it. You got to start standing in it and come on now. I'm trying to tell you that there there is nothing that the enemy is no longer taking from me. There are some things that the enemy stole from us and there's some stuff that we're allowing the enemy to take from us. We're just giving it away because we lost our fight. I'm telling you right now, if we can get on Facebook and we can go caddy at other people and we can throw, um, throw shade at other people, surely we know how to fight the real enemy and we can start launching attacks against him and understanding, understanding that I ain't fighting you with fists. I'm not fighting you with bullets and guns, but I'm fighting you with the 
word of God because I know who I am and I know whose I am and I'm standing upon the word of God and if God said it I'm telling you right now it shall be yours if God spoke it I'm telling you right now yes sir there's some things that got to break in our lives and you got to understand that I ain't breaking in nothing I'm walking in my God given authority and because he gave me authority because he gave me power I'm telling you right now it is mine and I'm taking it back everything that the enemy has stolen from me I'm taking it back everything that the enemy has tried to, to try to cause me to be depressed and oppressed I'm telling you right now you got to begin to take some things back and stop laying down and allow the enemy to have his way with you I'm telling you I'm telling you, if we if we know how if we know how to throw jabs at other people, if we know how to um, get catty, if we know how to be petty, I'm telling you right now, if we know how to be messy, surely, surely we know that there's a fight on the inside of us that we know how to get at the enemy. And I'm telling you right now, there's some things that the enemy the enemy is just beating us at. He's beating us why? Because you gave up, and you, because you gave up, you just laying there and you just letting them have his way. But I'm telling you right now that today. Is the last day that that, that the enemy will, will cause me to doubt who I am. And I want to speak over your life and tell you right now that you can go get it. It's yours. You have the keys. Whatsoever you, God said, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Heaven is coming into agreement with you that what God has already given you, God said that I'm, I'm causing heaven to back you up. And, and I'm telling you, you know what? I, I remember when we was younger and you know that when people try to raise up on us and, and we got our big brother, our big sister, our big cousins rolling with us. And you know what? We, we get, we get cocky because I got somebody backing me up. But let me tell you something. There's no greater than there's no greater backing than having heaven backing us up. And if heaven is backing us up, let me tell you something. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So if heaven is backing me, I'm telling you right now, I don't have to quit. I don't have to back down and I don't have to bow down because heaven is backing me. And because heaven is backing me, I'm telling you right now, it is ours for the taking. Take it back. Everything that the enemy has stolen from you, heaven got your back and if heaven got your back it's already yours i pray that this word has been a blessing to you and i pray that it continue to bless you and cover you and keep you because heaven yes heaven is coming into agreement with you only thing you got to do is speak it because heaven got your back i pray that this word has been a blessing to you share it with somebody else and let them know you ain't in this fight baby by your own heaven got your back and if heaven got your back you already won you already got the victory have an awesome and wonderful day if you're not doing anything on tonight i have bible study i start i'm um, doing bible study um at six o'clock at 144 marlboro avenue join me if you don't have bible study or not doing anything yourselves there is a word from the lord and i'm telling you you will not be disappointed god is speaking and god is moving and god is doing an awesome an awesome work and i'm telling you right now in order for us to build better relationships we got to start building better better fellowships so therefore know know that god got you and heaven got your back have an awesome awesome and wonderful day and hopefully to see you not tonight at 6 p.m at 144 marlboro avenue or join me live on daughters of zion bible study in our group page on at six o'clock on my group page and i pray that you have an awesome and wonderful day this is, this is Quick Word Tuesday. Yeah, it's only for women in the group, but um, I'm about to start switching up some things, Brother Rick, and, and, and might start opening up the door to everyone because truly there's a word and everybody needs to be free. Have an awesome and wonderful day, and I love you guys.